And him just <laughs> literally odd man drive and just pull right up. Pull right. You know, <laughs> big bad and brave. Open up the taxi. Pull Take, out the man. And I search this man. And I'm like, we are the baby yeah, girl. We are the room. So no, I'm yeah. you take my phone and say, you take my phone. Search the boy. I must say, Me search him. Phone. to my channel if you're new here my name is Bacana make sure you like comment and subscribe also turn on post notifications so you never miss a video because I'll be doing vlogmas if this isn't already in the vlogmas series this is my cousin Malik hi guys if you're new and you haven't seen Malik that means you need to go and get caught up on my old vlogs especially vlogmas from last year vlogmas 2019 and like early in the year because Malik is all over the vlogs um yeah so if you haven't seen her face you haven't been here long enough and you haven't been watching so make sure you go and check out the old videos and let's jump right into today's video so this is our story time about the time we got robbed almost robbed yeah we got robbed i got robbed my phone was stolen yeah. basically malik was heading up to yui um to turn in some paperwork and i was going with her so we're like okay let's go take you know the bus or whatever because i wasn't driving at the time um so yeah we were we had already got to half a tree from duane park so remember we took the duane park taxi into half a tree and then we're gonna take the what is it the the campus taxis yeah yes and so we're crossing we're crossing by the bank yeah, so, JN, right there. Yeah, the mm. JN bank, right? Okay, so you know the town buses are up here where the huge clock tower is. So remember the clock tower because that's important to the story as well. And there's a stoplight at the clock tower, so remember that. So at that point, we're at the stop, we're at the, the crosswalk, and it was a red light. No, it was a green light. We didn't cross yet. No, we crossed from over where the transport center was and mm -hmm. went over to where the bank was. Yeah, and then that's where we were. And we're so crossing I was, the other side. Yeah, so I was standing there and I felt like I had a bag very similar to this bag, like extremely oh similar. Um, it's basically the same bag, just a different print. So this is what it looks like. I had a bag and then, I don't know, I felt, something felt off. Something felt very, very off. And I felt like maybe somebody was like going into my bag or something. Because remember, my phone is in my bag at this point. Um, so I looked behind me. Well, I technically I turned. So I yeah. looked behind me. And then I saw this man in a red shirt. I will never forget he's wearing a I can bright still red shirt. His face. Like, I can vividly see his, see his face? face right now. So I was like, that's weird. All right. I keep walking. And then something tell me. Like, Shade. Check, check your, your bag. bag. Check your bag. So I go in my bag. Just imagine if we reach all the way to you, we are reach to the taxi, and then I decide to go in my bag. My phone would have gone. But I dig up the bag. I do to the phone. I dig it up. do to the phone. Yeah. I turn to Malik. I'm like, Malik, you have my phone? I'm like, no. <laughs> you like, don't Malik, you're sure. Your phone like that. Malik, you're sure you have my phone? So then Malik, oh, my yeah. <laughs> bag. I mean, I search, I search for things that I know I don't got. You don't have. So I was like, then it finally like the, the um light bulb turned on, right? She was like, that guy. I must the man, right? The man back. She was like, we a set. Yeah, him. And he was walking. So he started speed walking at this no, point. He turned back and looked at us. He mm -hmm. did. Yes, he did. He turned back and looked at us. And then she was like, him, Malika, him, I'm put I'm sick up. And we started <laughs> like running, running him down. We started literally. running like in the middle of like where the, the um the town buses are like that stretch a road right, right before yeah. the clock tower running everybody looking at yeah. us at this point we're running, like, down we're running down and then he got into a taxi guys good, good boy jumping on taxi. jumping on one taxi and the taxi guess what pulled Dro off drove right off thank god for that stoplight the, the stoplight so, all right so when the thank taxi god. pull off the light changed same time and the taxi driver stopped so me and Malik run up to the taxi now open big up the taxi brave, <laughs> big but i'm brave open up the taxi <laughs> Pull out the man. 
and I search this man and I'm like, we are the baby yeah, girl, we are the I'm saying, no, I hate it, my phone is all you take it, say, you but take I never do that, I'm but I never me, do that, I'm kind of me, style, like, I'm here, I'm saying, search the boy, I'm saying, search him, all of a sudden, and guess what, guys, we, we did not find it, phone. <laughs> We didn't find it. Like we searched him everything and didn't find the phone. And then the taxi <gasps> man he come out and he kind of get upset and say, "Sir, I'm gonna say him take my phone and all them something." And then I said, "Oh, you wicked! I me take your phone." Oh, yeah. yeah, all them like, stuff. Hey, in the line, girl. Um, oh, so we start God. walk off now, and then like I'm getting real sad because like it's not like. It was, was it was a new it was iPhone. a new phone new so i wasn't sad about the phone itself it's sad that like mommy had got me that phone like brand new phone um yeah <laughs> so when i cried well i was about to cry i didn't start crying yet and this man come and he just <laughs> literally literally like she push me and stop me push you me. get back your phone and she like literally came back into me, you know, and I'm like walking beside her. I'm literally like just come and stop me. So you get back your phone. Like, I was like, no. <laughs> and he was like, stand up right to say, yeah, get back your phone. <laughs> and so he pulled out his phone and called and then him somebody. Called, yeah, him called the taxi man. And we don't know when he said to the taxi man he stepped off at this point or something. But then like, what was that? Five minutes. Yeah, and well, then like, minutes later, the taxi man pull round. Well, he make a bad man drive and just pull right up. Pull right round and say, oh, um, bad word, in, bad word, bad word, in cost, bad word, yeah, bad in cost. <laughs> and then say, when he search up the man and search up the car, because yeah. what the man did, he threw the phone under the, the seat. car. Yeah. Listen. So the man said, nearly kill him, I'm nearly kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it was like, Girl, what? We did not know. That day, we didn't even bother go to you. You know what we did? We go back right. home. We're right back where we had. We go straight back home, and then tell me why, like our whole family know about it. <laughs> I want to tell me tell probably like mommy, and I don't even know my mommy. But the whole grandma call and tell me call here. We didn't like we like within like half an hour of us reaching home, like. Everybody just are ringing off the phone. Everybody. And grandma and was said, like, oh, what if him be a gun? What if he a knife? knife? <laughs> you know, we should have... At the time, we weren't considering that. Yeah. We're just We're like, not going to stand up and just make some man teeth the phone, like... Like, at the time, we weren't thinking that. that. We should have probably... You know what? Thought about that. But yeah. all the logic was gone. gone. Like, we, I just knew it was him. Like, from the moment, in gun... Like, in gun, my back of my spirit. He's like two items in the back of my head. Say, girl, it's something of it. Yeah, my soul, something. Yeah. We're like, go for the boy. Go for him, because my look. Go for the boy. I'm like, it just feel weird. Like, you know, like, just imagine I have my bag. And it's almost like, my bag, it felt like this. Like, slow movement. Don't feel why teeth like what? I should have me catch him. Up to this day, grandma still talk with him. Make sure to be careful when you're doing Kingston. <laughs> Oh right, that was so scary, guys. But me and Malik is some bad itches. We got the phone back. Me, me not right now. <laughs> <laughs> no time different now. Time's very different now. It's like the man really could have had a gun. So I'm not telling anybody to do what we did. We didn't even know how we did what we did. We just did, did it. it. Yeah. So that's just us instinctively to just. Yes, military is a coma. Run down the boy. <laughs> Running down, girl. Like we run. Like, oh, wow. I don't know, everybody I watched, we like, it was so weird. Like, literally, people literally start Stop and crawl, watch and come like, around. Yeah. Nobody never did help, you know? Nobody never helped. <laughs> Just like the time, like, I, I don't know why it's always me. I'm always the target. Because even with Sash, <laughs> like, I'm going to link the too. video. Where is the camera? I'm going to link the video up top. Somewhere up top. Um, Because I almost got robbed downtown Jamaica as well. Oh, so it's I like... That, right? Just feel like a nigga nigga anklet. Can you imagine? But yeah, we did it. Um, we got back the phone and we got we on. Yeah. I'm and good. just imagine because everybody kept saying, Oh, should they keep your phone in your bag in your bag? That's why more time I always have my phone and I always have it in my hand and, and with a tight grip. Because a man can run up on me and grab it from Nessa. But like the fact that he took it straight from my bag. Like, I wouldn't have known unless my ancestors didn't touch my shoulder and said, <laughs> <laughs> So, boy. Yeah. You remember, the, and like, literally, the next time we were going to UE, Stash drove us. From that, we don't go back on the road. That's true. <laughs> it's true. Stash drove us. We didn't go back on the road. 
Yeah. Trauma, right? <laughs> like literally, anytime I'm walking past there, I will have on my school bag and I'll just like, I put it in front of me or I hook it underneath mm -hmm. my arm. Yeah, that's why you see people, like, like she said, wear them bag in front of them. Because people know, man. See, even in Jamaica too. But then you know what too? What I like sometimes, like, like how the man come and help me, is that people will come and help. People yeah. will come and help. But you have to take it. Let me not sit up. <laughs> yeah. It's my little cousin. She's actually my big sister. Right. Alright, so the story time is done. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick one. Bye guys. Yeah, don't make nobody take it for full on the road. So just be cautious. Yeah, guys. just be very cautious very and be vigilant. aware of your surroundings. Yes. And um if you have a bag that's open like this too, don't just bring it. Don't bring it or Wear it like this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wear it like this. Cause people see you for, and God forbid you reach your destination and then you realize that you yeah. got robbed. Yeah. Yeah. All right, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. subscribe. Turn on the post notifications I and to turn that thing blue and I remember that it's not blue uh, yeah, anymore. Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> it's not blue. It doesn't turn blue anymore. Um, yeah, and make sure you stay tuned for Vlogmas.